Hey guys, I thought I'd make a little video about uh, how to find out if your paint's original or how your clear coat's been affected on your singers. A lot of people uh, buy these, like I got this machine here, it looks beautiful, it looks mint, the paint looks great and everything, so I started cleaning it and that, but here's a good way to tell. I, mean, I know this machine's had paint done to it, and it, it looks great. Like you look at all the decals, they're beautiful. You can see that they're in great condition paint looks beautiful everywhere nice and shiny all right looks good looks good but if you take an led light when you're going to buy a singer flashlight you will see a yellowing in that clear coat now watch here look at the head of this machine right there see how that it's really black the head's black well it's harder to tell on, on this video but you can see that line right there this machine, the head's been repainted. Somebody has painted. They did a beautiful job because I'll tell you, with a naked eye, you can't tell that that head has been touched up. But the clear coat will get this yellowy, greeny tinge to it. You can sort of see it on the deck there. And um, I found with all of these, usually the, the wheel here, uh, this section over here, is always a nice black. It won't have that same clear coat as the actual machine. And I don't know if that's because they manufactured these somewhere else went through a different process and they just shipped the bodies and then put whatever combination of motor drive system on what machine was with what because you can get them hand crank wheel this one's a potted or a non-potted motor obviously because it's a the year of it but uh or the model of it but anyways uh so anyways you take a look along here i'll go along with the led light and then right there right there you can see that distinctive line it goes all the way around the head it's hard to catch because the glare there but anyways so even in daylight you can take these uh, uh an led light with you flashlight and you will see that this has a greeny sort of yellowy haze to it and you will see any kinds of chips or scratches i don't know if i can actually show on the deck um maybe here i have uh oh, there you can see a chip there see right in the deck right there you can see chipping and I actually have a lot of crackling in the clear coat along the, the pillar here. But other than that, you know, the deck's in beautiful shape, still all original. But you know what I mean? I uh, At first glance, I thought this machine was, was mint condition, never been touched. And then once I got the light out, went across it, I was like, oh, look at that. Someone who ever did it did a beautiful job. I don't know why they repainted the head on it, if it was done at the factory. Another way I knew it was done is right here on that fork there's actually some black paint you can see it see it there on the left side of the fork there's another good sign of it now i don't really care because i only paid 25 dollars for this machine and it was you know start the car moment but anyways yeah i just thought i'd go over that i don't see too many videos on how to tell if your machine's been touched or touched up or repainted you know some people just buy them by first glance right so if you're a purist and you're looking for that it doesn't matter to me because all my machines are have wear and tear i don't mind that because for machines that are as old as these you can't expect them to be mint condition and if they are then they weren't really loved you know like a shelf clean okay i want a machine that's been used i like machines that have stories um got the necky bu all stripped down she's all on steel now so I gotta figure out what color paint I'm gonna do, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care and stay safe.